using matrices solve the following system of equations 4x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 60 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 45 6x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 70 so the given equations we can write in matrix form as taking the coefficients 4 3 2 1 2 3 6 2 and 3 from the three equations of the right side and the variable matrix we can write here x y z is equal to and the constant 60 45 and 70 it's a column matrix so we can write in the form of ax is equal to b where a is the coefficient matrix x is the variable matrix and b is the constant matrix and we know that x is equal to a inverse into b this is matrix inversion method matrix inversion method and this method is applicable only when a inverse is existing that is delta is not equal to zero because we know that a inverse is equal to 1 by delta into adjoint of a matrix a so let us find the determinant of the matrix Det A is equal to determinant of the coefficient matrix that is 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 6, 2, 3, which is equal to 4 times of 2, 3 is a 6 minus 6, 0, minus 2, 3 times of 1, 3 is a 3 minus 18, that is negative 15, and again here plus 2 times of 2 minus 12, that is negative 2. So, which is 45 minus 20 is equal to 25, not equal to 0. So, we can say A inverse exists. If A inverse exists, we need to find 1 by delta into adjoint of A. Its matrix inversion method is applicable, we can write. Now, to find the adjoint, let us use the shortcut method to determine the adjoint. So, consider from the coefficient matrix, second row, second column elements say from 2 so 2 so we can write starting with second row second column element 2 and then continue the next number is 3 in the same row and then again come back to the 1 then end up with again the same element from second row second column element similarly continue with the next row that is starting with 2 2 and then with the 3 then 6 and again 2 so we can write here 2 3 6 and 2 and coming to the first row again 3 2 and again 4 and then 3 so i can write here 3 2 4 and again 3 and again come back with the same numbers 2 3 1 2 second row second column and now we will write the adjoint here adjoint of a matrix is actually transpose of the cofactor matrix so i can write here finding the calculation determinants 2 3 is a 6 minus 6 is 0 2 2 is a 4 minus 9 that is negative 5 3 3 is a 9 minus 4 it is positive 5 and coming to the next one 3 6 are 18 minus 3 15 here performing column wise and writing here row wise because transpose matrix we need to apply here so 3 4 are 12 minus 12 it's a 0 2 1 are 2 minus 12 that is negative 10 and again the last one so we can write here 1 2 are 2 minus 12 minus 10 6 3s are 18 minus 8 it's a plus 10 and 4 2s are 8 minus 3 it's a 5 so adjoint of a matrix is equal to we can also take 5 common and we can write 
5 times of 0 minus 1 plus 1 3 0 minus 2 minus 2 2 and 1 okay so now we know that a inverse is equal to 1 by delta a into that is 1 by 25 times of 5 times of 0 minus 1 1 3 0 minus 2 minus 2 2 and 1 which is equal to 1 upon 5 times of 0 minus 1 and 1 3 0 minus 2 minus 2 2 and 1 and now the variable matrix x is equal to a inverse into b so we can add 1 upon 5 times of 0 minus 1 1 3 0 minus 2 minus 2 2 and 1 multiplied with the matrix b that is 60 45 and 70 so on simplifying you will be getting 1 upon 5 times of so 0 into 60 is 60 minus 1 into 45 minus 45 plus 70 so we can write minus 45 plus 70 so here minus 45 plus 70 is 25 and 360 is 180 180 and minus 140 is 140 here and here minus 120 plus 90 minus 30 plus 70 is 40 so 25 upon 5 is 5 40 upon 5 is 8 and 40 upon 5 is 8 so the variable matrix x is equal to we can write x y z so x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 y is equal to 8 and z is equal to 8 is the solution by matrix method so let us also verify by substituting in any one of the equation second equation let me substitute 5 plus 2 into 8 16 plus 3 into 8 24 24 plus 16 is 40 40 plus 5 is 45 satisfying so we can go we can say that this is the solution